Hello guys, um, in today's video we're going to look at how to create a PB01 work order, property book work order, using um, the using the primary hand receipt. So that means we have to go to the primary hand receipt, then find our equipment number to create our PB01 work order. So, but basically we have, there are three ways you can actually create a PB01. One, when you have the equipment number. Two, when you have the serial number, you can use the serial number to find the equipment number. Then the third one is when you're using the material number. So with this, we assume we don't have the equipment number and we, don't, we assume we don't know which equipment we're going to use. So basically we're just going to our primary hand receipt. We can also use our sub hand receipt to actually find the item we want, we want to create a work order for. So let's begin. You go to your Zeus menu. We click on property management. Since I said we're going to use primary receipt, so we're going to use the primary receipt. You put in your UIC, unit identification code, and you execute. So we have our primary receipt right here. So how to find our equipment number? You go to the serial number right there. You click on it. Then you can find your, you can see your equipment number. So to copy your equipment number, you need to do Control Y. Control Y. You do Control Y, then you copy the equipment number. From here, you go to, you click on the Go to, then you click on Create Order. You always remember to put your order type which is PB01, your equipment number, you paste it. Then you can choose your priority, but when you don't choose your priority, by default, your priority is going to be low. So it depends on how quickly you want your item to come in. You want the PB01 orders to come, your shortages to come in. So you can choose um, three for low. And the business area is going to be army since we are in the army. Um, what you can also claim clear the um, the priority and it will still be three. So from here you click on you you hit the enter key or click on the enter. So here on this field in this field you have to put. Let me actually explain this. So in this field you have you have to put um the uh, uh, a short text right in the, in the short text it depends on you how you want to label the item how you want to identify the item so that when you go to your um iw38 to look at it you can actually see it how you label it you can actually easily identify it or you go to iwbk when you are going to consume your shortages or when you are going to issue your shortages out, you can actually easily identify. There are two ways. You can do the labeling here, and I'll show you another way you can also label your, um, whoever is going to receive it. So let's go on. So mostly some people just put shortage annex, um, the, the, the company going to receive, uh, the, Seven receipt holder going to receive it plus serial number and all those stuff. But I prefer it this way, so that's how I label my stuff. After that, you click on component. So you can check, click on the next list, expand whole, double click the item, um, especially if you don't know the material number of head. You can just double click and you know the item name. You can just come here, double click, and um, it will pop auto populate. But I don't want to do it that way, so I'll go back and just pen, uh, type it in. But one thing is, there's something that's going to happen. Since I came here and I went back, when I type it in and I hit enter, something else is going to come up. It's not going to work as normal as. Everybody sees how it's supposed to work, but so I'll go back. 
type in the material number that I want to put on order. So you see this screen, right? Basically, instead of auto-populating it for you, you have to do it manually here. So here, this is what I was talking about, the goose recipients. You can put in the seven receipt, holder's name, or the platoon name, like for instance, I'm putting HQ, and I'm going to put the vehicle bumper number to it. So Bravo 66, which is a Bradley, right? So Bravo 66, it's a Bradley bumper number that I'm putting in. Um, also, you have to put in the quantity, how many you need. If you want to check the, 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 the authorized quantity, you can go back to the list, the first thing I showed, then you can see it. Now, the, um, let me explain this too. The release strategy or purchasing request, right? There are three, three. never means you are telling the system not to order that item. You or either you are already you already have the item, either or you already have the item, or you are telling the system not to order, or you you putting this uh, the work order on deferment, right? You putting it on defer. So if you really want to order the item, you have to put it on immediately. That means you are telling the system that you want to order the item. Then the movement type is going to be two six one. Um, I'll do a video on how to order class nine through this process. Something, just a few things will change. The movement type is going to change. So here, as you can see, the unit of measure is there. We have the quantity in there. We have the S load also auto populated in there. Then you have a re release strategy right there. So you have to put it on immediately. Now the next big thing, the next big thing is to click the release check. The release check is right there. That is the release check. So the release check, if you put it on immediately and you don't put it on, you don't click the release green check flag over there, your item is not going to come in. So always remember to when after putting your release uh, your release strategy to immediately you put it on release the check you click it and as you can see it right down here as you can see right down there it says order instead of putting the order number since you haven't saved it you don't have the order number yet it will be released after update so update means when I click on the save button then the update will kick in so let's continue So basically, after the after you hit the release check, you click the you, you click on save. Then your work order will be what will be done. Then you click on save, and that's it. You've created a work order. For this work order, we have just one item on it. So this is all for. Um, creating a work order. This is all for creating a work order through the primary hand receipt or sub hand receipt when you actually don't have your BAM ready or you want to actually um, order something through uh, uh, what do you call it? How do I even put this? Um, you just want to uh, order, create a work order through the primary hand receipt. You just go in there, you have the um, item in mind, you, you know the sub hand receipt is on, you go there, check on the um, serial number, then you copy the equipment number. All right guys, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'm going to do, a, the next video is going to uh, be how uh, to order class, uh, how to create a work order when you have the um the serial number thank you for watching